I'm Jennifer Sanasi. You're watching News 24 Live. Our sex and relationship columnist Dorothy Black is joining me in studio. And today we're going to be talking about jealousy. Hello. Hey. Now, jealousy. Is jealousy a sign of love? I mean, I think I know the answer. I think the answer is no. Okay. But I often hear people saying that, oh, he's jealous. He just loves me too much. He's so crazy out of his mind. No, we'll get back to that. Okay. But no. No, jealousy is not a sign of love, at least not in my opinion. Jealousy to me is a sign of uh, insecurity, of a deep vulnerability around uh, relationships and how you feel in relationships and distrust. And you know, it's not distrust about the other person. It's a deep sense of distrust about yourself. You're standing in the world, how lovable you believe you are, how attractive you believe you are. It's to me, jealousy is like a weird, really volatile indicator feeling. Like when it's there, when it's really overwhelming and huge, it doesn't indicate something about the other person, it indicates something about yourself. Some huge issues that you need to deal with. And so, um, you know, when, when people say it's, it's a sign of love, I'm like, well, which part of it is a sign of love? The part where you act out with resentment, with anger, with suspicion, with paranoia, because those don't sound like good, loving feelings to me. It sounds like jealousy is an expression of, of a lot of things building up over a long time. It doesn't right. sound like jealousy just kind of happens for people. Right. Are there different types of jealousy? Yeah, you know, I feel there are because I think we all experience insecurities. You know, we all have our moments of vulnerability. We're human, we all go through this. But then there are pangs of jealousy, a little bit of like a, uh, when your partner is, is maybe taking their attention away from you. You feel the feeling, you talk about it, oh, I'm feeling this way, and you move on. When jealousy becomes a character trait, and when it becomes the relationship's culture, then you have a problem. You know, then it becomes overwhelming. Then it becomes the way that you live. It can express itself in manipulations. It can express itself in making people victims. Anger, it isolates people because people who are in very jealous relationships tend to then want to stay away from anything that is going to trigger their partners. Um, my feeling about jealousy is that when jealousy expects you to toe the line, it's crossed the line. And so, yeah, I believe there are different kinds of jealousies, and it's very clear to see which one is, you know, for want of a better word, normal. It's fleeting, it's just part of your, your feeling, you know, palette. I'm feeling moody, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling happy, I'm feeling excited, I'm feeling a little bit jealous, and we so move on. So that's okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. very normal. I think people are very scared of jealousy. They're scared of jealousy because of what it tells them about themselves. And when we don't want to deal with our feelings, our bad feelings, the feelings that feel unpleasant, like vulnerability, like insecurities, like distrust of ourselves, we act out and we immediately want to make it someone else's problem. And so my jealousy issues, my insecurity issues become your problem. And if that becomes overwhelming and consistent, it then becomes a culture of the relationship where there is someone who is basically becoming abusive. It leads to an abusive relationship, in my opinion. Well, you said when jealousy becomes a, a culture in your relationship. What do you mean by that? So I mean that basically it becomes the way that you interact, how one person acts and the other person responds. So when you are overwhelmed by, sense, by a sense of jealousy um, and you make it someone else's problem, you expect the other person to modify their behavior. So if I get jealous all the time that you're wearing an open top and a short skirt, and I believe that that means you're going to go pick up men around wherever you are because I'm scared that you don't love me enough, um, I am going to expect you to dress differently. And if you accept that, you will start dressing differently. Maybe you won't go out with your friends anymore. Maybe you'd rather stay at home. And suddenly the culture of your relationship becomes the one person's feelings and needs are being met, are being violently imposed on the other person, and the other person is accepting it. And so, um, to me, that is how a relationship...